Last time we were fitting the hatches and making mounts for the vents. Before fitting the mounts for the vents, I decided to sand the whole of bulkhead number two so I could give it a fresh coat of epoxy resin. And then using some clamps and some polythene, I fitted the mounts in place with some thickened epoxy resin. Once this had set, it was time to fit the vents in place with some stainless steel screws. Time for a test. Next I turn my attention to the pair of fair leads that I bought to fit onto the bow of the boat. After applying some 3M marine sealant to the undersides of the fair leads, I secured them in place with some countersink stainless steel bolts. At the same time I fitted a pair of cleats to the sides of the Dorada boxes and two at the stern of the boat. You may remember in part 18 that I raised the mast, but the rope snagged on the pivot bolt for the mast. This needed to be cut down of course, so I finally got around to doing this. I carefully worked out how much shorter I needed to make the bolt. and then took it to the workshop to cut it shorter. I found the burrs off the threaded end of the bolt and then tested that the nut would fit okay. Once I replaced the bolt I checked that the mast pivot was working okay. And then headed back into the workshop. Due to some overzealous varnishing I needed to sand down the end of the tiller so it would fit properly into the rudder stock. And I've put it on my to-do list to buy a split pin to secure this. Then I decided to give the top of the rudder another coat of paint. This gave me the opportunity to neaten up the line where the red joins the white on the rudder. 